Hey everyone, Ralph Hankerson here once again from Awesome Vacation Ideas. In this video, I'm going to share with you my testimony of how uh, I built my Facebook page or got it to go from uh, zero likes to over 20,000 likes in roughly two months or less. Uh, my sister and I, we started the our travel business uh, because she was uh, coming out of corporate America and uh, she wanted to uh, have another source of income and uh, I had been you know doing travel just for the family you know close friends uh, nothing major and so she was like you know hey you've been doing the travel thing for a while so why don't you you know maybe show me how to use travel you know to supplement my husband our, our income and so uh, I had already been doing some research I had considered it uh, going online and going public with uh, a travel business but I really didn't take it serious until my sister uh, approached me and I was asking her you know you know uh, you know what this is this something you really want to do and uh, and so she agreed to it and so we we began to talk more and more about it and I began to do more research online and try to find tools and the best way to get our agency out there so people can know about what we're doing you know anytime you start a business you got to have some type of grand opening and to let the world know or let people in your area know uh you know what you're doing so in this video i'm going to give you an in-depth look at our our track record for the last two months uh as to how we went from zero to over twenty thousand likes on facebook uh in the last two months so what you see right here is my back office in facebook our likes uh, we're at 20,561 as of today so uh, this right here kind of like shows you when we started here and then it peaked up and it, it just been tapering off and it tapers off uh, because Facebook uh, they have like different algorithms working in the background and so uh, once you like target a, a particular area uh, and you know people really like what you're doing on Facebook after a while your your Facebook ad it will begin to dwindle you know people say okay we've already seen that and so so your likes it'll start to drift off and that's what this is right here it, it begin to taper off uh, but we hit this this spike here at the first of September I made some modifications uh, did some changing and I'll show you uh, the changes that I made at, as we get into it here so 20,000 likes 561 uh, in two months you can do the same thing depending on your niche and area and your topics or the market that you're trying to reach travel just seem to be one of those areas where it's is well accepted because everyone in the world wants to travel everyone wants to get out and uh, see this earth that we live on so uh, let's jump right into it here uh, what I'm gonna do is go to go back here I want to take you to the ad manager so this right here is our main page and uh, you just where it asks you to build audience once you, once you have your uh, picture set up and you and I and I had so I found someone on Fiverr uh, to set this uh, picture up for me uh, you know put the little nice little font on here and they made it to where it actually blends into uh, the main photo here so that was kind of cool but you want to click on build audience use ad manager And you see right here where it says create campaign all right this is where you'll click but I just want to give you a brief briefing on where we at right here uh, I was paying before I stopped it to record uh, two cents per like I even got it down to one cent per like and uh, I was only my budget was only like I would adjust it depend on uh, how much money I had to spare I started out like a dollar or two a day and then at once I found that perfect photo that everyone really really liked it in the ad I, I went ahead and ramped it up to five dollars a day I know of some companies that are you know spending ten twenty hundred thousand dollars a day uh, 
you know, in their budgets uh, to get their information out there. Uh, but it, it doesn't take a lot of money with Facebook. Uh, like I said, you can set it as low as a dollar and you'll see once we get in here uh, how to make those settings. So you just create ad. And when you're getting started, uh, all we wanted to do was just get our social proof built up. So when so when you're getting online, you're getting on Facebook, you're trying to get your business out there. All you want is to build your social proof. You just want to build your audience. And the, our goal was to build our audience, to build our credibility, and then we can fine tune and adjust our target audience. Because when you when you go online, you'll see some Facebook pages. They only have maybe like uh, a couple hundred likes, but if you have a page that has 20,000, 50,000, 100,000, 1.3 million, that's more impressive to someone that's meeting you for the first time. So this strategy is to bring about impression, bring about credibility, bring about awareness of your uh, company's brand. And it also it, it helps you evaluate, you know, uh, am I going in the right direction? Should I be, you know, maybe moving my money around and, and marketing on a different social media or a platform? But this is a good way to get started uh, to build up your brand and to find out if people like what you're going to be offering. So you want to click on page likes and it automatically populate the page uh, that I've created for off my uh, profile. And then we want to hit continue. And it automatically pulled that uh, that main picture for you. And uh, if you didn't like that, you can always add or uh, upload a different image. Uh, but typically, if you're just wanting people to like your Facebook page, you want to leave whatever image that you have there. Uh, when I started out, I was using desktop newsfeed. And... Uh, I had the mobile selected and the right column. Now, interesting thing happened. Once I began to figure out which countries around the world uh, were cheaper as far as uh, cost per click, I went ahead and took this out because I think sometimes Facebook, they charge you extra or it's a little bit more uh, expensive to have all three of these running. But over the course of the last two months when I was doing it, it really kind of averages out. So it, it wasn't that big of a deal. So I just left it on there where the ad, it will show in the main feed and if they had a mobile device or you know how you, you're on Facebook and it shows the ad off to the uh, to the right. Uh, I just went ahead and just left it on the right, right column. Now the cool thing with Facebook, you can actually come in here and you can target uh, the locations or the areas. Uh, any third world country like uh, Thailand, uh, uh, we're talking about Nepal uh, any third world country you can put in here and those are usually going to be your cheaper uh, countries uh, to 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 spend your budget money on so when, when you're starting out I, I when I started out, I selected uh, like Argentina uh, Brazil uh, Chile uh, Algeria Egypt uh, India and so I just went in here and just, uh, I didn't do any, you, you not, well, I take that back. We started with United States the very first month and then we was getting mediocre uh, results. And then uh, my mentor said, switch up the gears a little bit and go international because uh, people overseas, they tend to like you better than here in the States because it's so competitive and things are more expensive here in the, in the States. So the first few weeks, of the first month we went and did everything in the United States and then we changed it to other third world countries or countries outside of the United States uh, yeah we use Malaysia uh, the Philippines uh, Thailand places like that and then I just uh, put in here uh, you know our typical age range is, is right you know uh, 24 to 64 that's that that was our audience you know both male and female and you want to enter in english make sure they speak english uh so if they if they ask you a question about your business you want to be able to communicate back to them in that same language uh 
English all and also make sure you put English UK so this is what I enter in the uh, language section now as far as interest I've heard all kind of things on the internet people say you you want to fine-tune and you you want to target your audience but if you're just going for the likes you can just go with a broad uh, general uh, interest and so our interest was travel uh, you know I'll put in travel okay boom you see the meter here you know potential reach 84 million people uh, another interest was uh, photography people they like pictures you know we're showing pictures of destinations uh, so we put that in and I'll show you here here once we go through here uh, this listing how you can find what people are interest, interested in and this is how I, I knew to put in travel and photography and there was a, a bunch of other things that I that I had found uh, and knew so I just put those in there yeah that's a ton of people that we can market to uh, you just click OK then if you want it you can browse their behavior uh, you know financial I mean you can really get deep into uh, a person interest in and what you think they're they're capable of doing Facebook has so much information on us it's ridiculous uh, and even other categories categories uh, so you I select the only people not connected to face uh, awesome vacation ideas I selected that there and uh, the ad name I forget I think it was like international test or something like that I came up what I put that there and then budget is I set it per day uh, you know five dollars one dollars you know if you're just starting out just put in you know whatever you can afford and just ramp it up from there and and once I hit five dollars uh, we started to receive like three four six hundred likes a day in, in some of these countries and so you don't have to spend a lot of money trust me you don't have to spend a lot of money and you can control it once that once the ad is accepted and, it, and it's active you can come in here every day and change this uh, based on the amount of money you you want to spend so th don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money to get started to build up your social proof and then I just uh, run my ad set continuously starting today uh, optimize of course for page likes and then you just click hit review and then another one will pop up and then you just place your place your order and uh, you wait for it to activate and you're good to go you're golden so this is how we went from zero to over 20,000 likes uh, in, in two months but I'm gonna switch gears real quick and I'm gonna show you a little tip on how to find uh, interest of other people and, and you may be shocked to, to know how much Facebook knows about us so let's let's look at that now so what, what, what we want to do is let me get off this page here and get back out here on the net or back out here uh, no we want to leave this page we're not saving that up here you'll notice you have uh, our search bar in Facebook uh, everyone should have it on their Facebook page so what you can do is you can put in something like uh, favorite favorite interest of likers of awesome vacation ideas okay this will tell you everything about the people that like my page these people they love fashion uh, they love traveling they love the sleep sleep you gotta have some sleep they love chocolate they love photography uh, sh more shopping love cooking music so any any company you can put their information in here and you can kind of be a little deceptive you know kind of sneaky with it and do research on your favorite company or your competitor and find out what some of their page likes or their fans what what are some of their interests and you can put that in you can put any company name in here and find out 
what their fans like and so therefore you can modify like one of my competitors okay absolute travel uh, put in their information and it'll tell me everything about their people salsa traveling uh, tongue piercing photography and you'll see there's a common theme chocolate once again so chocolate uh, photography traveling and so this will tell you exactly the interest that you need to target so when you're setting up your ad uh, therefore you're not wasting a, a lot of time uh, trying to figure out okay who do I target and so you can do it just a little background research on other companies your competitors and find out what their fans like on their page and then those same kinds of people will like your page and you just target to them so that that's how I find real finally realize what I need to be targeting and who who I need to go after and and uh, this works on just about any company that that you want to use so that's how you do it so that that's that's how you set that up uh, but I want to switch gears and share with you a, a little tip and trick uh, something I've learned uh, since I've been using Facebook uh, on my smartphone my iPhone I, I track my ad campaign throughout the day and so I will log on there and I will go into ad manager and uh, I will look at you know how, how we're doing throughout the day and uh, so that way I can learn and figure out you know where, where I need to make the adjustments now here's a tip I realize once you find that perfect photo or your ad you figure out that your ad is doing well uh, only focus on one or two countries because I'll show you here in a second uh, even though you put your you you remember how I said you can put in all those countries well Facebook they're only gonna target they're only gonna put your ad in front of a select few uh, amount of people because their system can only handle so much and if you have a limited budget uh, five dollars they're not gonna be able to place your ad evenly across all those countries and so they're they're gonna put position your ad in the best place possible so you can get the best bang for your buck and so I started to realize I said okay if I'm on gonna you know stick with five dollars and I'm seeing my likes are pretty good uh, then I maybe just need to focus where Facebook is focusing and so uh, every day like I said I would check my ads and I would take a screenshot on my phone and I'll show you that here and it shows me how many likes that I had for that day and it, it shows me you know the cost that I was paying you know at the time was one cent and so I would track it and tweak like so I would make my adjustments when I come back home uh, but let me go ahead and show you uh, the campaign so let me uh, click back on uh, got back to my main page here and uh, we want to click on uh, activities activities this shows you you know uh, different people that's liking your your photos throughout the day uh, how many shares you've had uh, but when we click on insights now this is the this is the information that I was tracking when I got home uh, on my iPhone I couldn't see all this information it, it only gave me an overview uh, but we'll go through and you'll see the engagement uh, on certain photos that I was posting uh, how many people that it reached uh, you know the post click people that actually clicked on it versus those that liked it whether or not uh, it was good or bad for the day or for that post so you you really find out a lot about your campaign and your post and this helps you uh, likes let's click on likes this is where we started initially and it just shows you for September going into October where we're we kind of like a flat a plateau right now that's because I stopped the ad uh, just temporarily uh, uh, reach this shows you you know your stats on the likes uh, over a given period of time frame so you can just go through here and I mean it's, it's very beneficial information here uh, visits uh, 
for your page your tab visits uh, again this is all based on different timelines these are just charts just just making you aware of how your campaigns also where do people come from whether they came from my website or other spots on the internet uh, post and this just shows you the last few days uh, you know when your fans are online uh, what time and so w when I was posting my ads you can make them to where you can post them at a, a later date and time and so I was once I came in here and I got a few likes this told me the time that my audience was online and so I tried to post make my post uh, or present my post when the people are online and it's more likely that they will see it um, let's scroll down here and this just shows you all the, all the posts that I made uh, okay now this is what we really want the people this right here tells you everything about your people and how many fans that like your page from different parts of the world so when you set up your ad campaign you know you can put in all the countries that you want to use Bangladesh Egypt Nepal you know Pakistan uh, it tells you where the your fans are from uh, and how many people like your page you know their language and things of that nature their age and it's showing you you know my target was uh, I got a heavy audience between 25 and 34 uh, and so this is this is how I figured out that okay well seem like based on the information that Facebook is giving me maybe I need to spend most of my time with these two countries and so going into that second month uh, where you saw the spike up I only focused on Bangladesh and Egypt in the part I just did the top three instead of trying to target the whole list that I had set up I just focus on you know two or three countries at a time and and the results were phenomenal and uh, we was really impressed <laughs> some of my friends that's like you know Ralph how, how are you doing this and so I be, you know begin to share with them and so now I'm sharing with you and I hope you know this has helped you out tremendously uh, again we did this for social proof and believe it or not a lot of people from these countries began to contact us about you know uh, booking travel uh, there's a lady from Taiwan that contacted me people in each one of these countries they you know they hey send me some stuff send me some research and we will send that stuff out to them so uh, if you're looking for a cost-effective way to get started online you can use Facebook ads it don't cost you a lot of money it's easy to set up it's easy for you to track and you go in and make your adjustments and so once you get your audience built then you can come back to United States you can target the UK you can target Canada and some of the the, the country that that are closer uh, to your target niche because those countries have the you know they have the most money or the most wealth in the nation and so uh, again this is an easy strategy that you can implement and it, and it doesn't take much you know uh, two or three months you could be up to 20,000 and maybe even more had I not stopped the campaign because I you know got other things I'm trying to manage this social media this other platform deal with customers uh, it, it, it just it can be a lot sometimes but it's well worth it to get your name out there and that's what it takes you have to promote you have to you have to promote so again this has been Ralph Hankerson jr. with awesome vacation ideas showing you how to use Facebook ads and how my sister and I we went from zero to 20,000 plus likes uh, using Facebook ads alright I'll see you in another video take care